everyone, this is Miss Helms, back for our final video for Area of Parallelogram. So just as in the other video, our learning target is to be able to apply um, the area formula for parallelograms. So in this example, in this last example, what we're trying to do is figure out how much is it going to cost to stain a deck. And typically, decks aren't always perfect squares or rectangles. So in this case, it's going to be an approximation, but we can approximate it using our knowledge of parallelograms, of area of parallelograms and rectangles. So taking a look at this problem, it says the company doing the work charges $3.50 per square foot. For staining. So I'm going to circle that because that's important information for us to know. Also, we know that each square on the grid represents one square foot. So if each of these squares is one square foot, that means that each of these grid lines is one foot by one foot. So our goal is to estimate the area of the deck to the nearest square foot and then calculate the cost. Well, to do this, there are many different approaches to solve this problem, and it's really up to you how you want to do it. Um, some people may want to just count all of the squares. Some people may want to um, have bigger rectangles. It's really up to you. So if you don't solve it the same way as I would, it's okay. It Take your own approach. So when I take a look at this, um, when I take a look at this deck, I want to figure out the area, and I'm just going to do that instead of counting every single one of these squares. I'm going to fill in larger rectangles so I can count the area a little bit quicker. So um, if I count the length and the width or the base and the height of this rectangle, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six feet across the top and then three feet going down. So I know that the area of this rectangle is 18 square feet. So. Um, I have 18 feet squared for the purple part of the rectangle. Then um, in the orange here, let's see, we've got 2 by 2, which is 4 square feet. So plus 4 feet squared. Plus another, we have another 1 right here. So plus another 1 foot squared. Plus, I didn't add any of this down here, so this is another 2 by 2, so that's 4 feet squared. Plus another one perfect one in the middle here, so plus another 1 foot squared. So, these are my perfect squares that I have. So, um, when I add that all up together, I have 18 and 4, which is 22, and 1 is 23, and 4 is 27, and 1 is 28. So this total right here of these perfect squares is 28 feet squared. However, there are these other pieces here that I haven't taken into consideration. So I'm going to make those blue. So I've got this partial triangle right here. I've got another one right here. I've got one right here. And one more right here. So I have these four triangular pieces. And remember, we are approximating. We want to get we want to get a rough estimate. So if I were to put these two together, that would give me one square foot approximately, maybe more, maybe less. And if I were to put these two triangles together here, are these tri two triangular pieces, that would give me another foot squared. So really to this 28 feet squared, I have to add two more feet squared from those partial portions of the deck. So in total, I have approximately 30 square feet of deck to work with uh, that I need to stain. So the last part is to calculate the cost. Well, if it's 30 square feet and it costs $3.50 per square foot for staining, I need to take my 30 square feet multiply it by the $3.50 per square foot to get the total cost that it's going to take for staining this deck. So when I multiply 30 by uh, $3.50, I get $105. Ta-da! So it is going to be approximately $105, hopefully you've been saving up, to stain this deck that is approximately 30 square feet. Nice work!